In our last episode, Benny and Benno spent a night in Norfolk, recharging themselves with beer, burgers and a good night's sleep. They also stocked up on fresh water, food and diesel for the final leg of the overall 2100 nautical miles long journey from St. Martin to New Jersey. They've enjoyed yet another great night out at sea before the weather turned for the worst again. With thunderstorms, 20 knots of wind on the head and decommissioned main and head sail, they've motored the rest of the trip. Friends of ours were so kind to arrange a guest mooring in a local yacht club on short notice. We really didn't expect to make it this far. Our family was finally reunited and we celebrated arrival with a great barbecue among friends. The captain is on board again. Back on board we've looked at the damage we caused during the trip. Overall not too bad. The strap that connects the tack of the head sail with the further snapped on the last day at 20 knots of wind on the head. We've got quite a blemish to the gel coat when the dinghy crashed into the stern at around 3 meters of following seas during Cape Hatteras thunderstorms. Not the best idea to keep the dinghy on a short lease. We lost our steam and deck light. A total mystery. Why or when it happened? During the trip we were constantly looking for chargers we could connect our USB charging cables to. So first order of improvement was to renew all power outlets. Easy install and less clutter and searching for chargers going forward. And the old ones were really ugly. Just as we thought we had fixed everything for our long Labor Day weekend, another problem occurred. Tell me what you want to do now. I don't want to do anything. What's your plan? Well, the water intake is apparently overgrown and we have to clean that up so we can start the generator. How was the water? Well, just look at that. There's no water, it's shit. Oh man, I really don't want to go. Just jump. It's disgusting. Do it. <laughs> Visibility was really bad, so we gave up and asked the diver to clean the water intake and everything else for the matter. The growth in Raritan Bay is really heavy. In fact, we've collected more growth in two weeks in Raritan Bay than we've seen after two months in Simpson Bay Lagoon in St. Martin. As usual, we get everything somewhat fixed to leave on time with our dear friend Stefan, Tracy, Captain Kjell, Zina and myself. Weather wasn't at its best, wind and tide against us, but we really wanted to spend the weekend in Long Island Sound, plus the journey is a reward. To get there we would pass under Verizzano Bridge, sail past the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island, enter the East River at the Battery at Lower Manhattan, continue on under the Brooklyn Bridge, pass by the United Nations, Queens, a prison on Rikers Island and a lot of other fancy locations that are checkboxes on a typical sightseeing list for New York tourists. The initial goal was to get to Oyster Bay and meet up with other sailors from our yacht club. Island Sound kind of late and therefore decided to drop anchor at Manhasset Bay, off the shore of Port Washington. We enjoyed our barbecue inside the boat as temperatures were low for the months and retired early in a calm night.
former Hurricane Harvey moved over the area. With winds still up to 60 knots off the shore of Long Island, a lot of boats were seeking shelter in Oyster Bay. Good excuse to be super lazy and chill the weekend on board. woke up to a very beautiful day on Monday, the last day of our tour. The sky had cleared, the sun was shining again and temperatures were back to the mid-twenties. A beautiful sightseeing tour on Nomad ahead of us. After a sailor's breakfast we got ready to exercise and pulled the anchor and about 30 meters of chain out of the mud. The control box for the windlass said goodbye the other day. How can you not have an electrical windlass on board? I don't understand. That's the line. current at the East River is really strong, up to 10 knots at Hellgate. The section known as Hellgate, from the Dutch name Hellegat or Passage to Hell, is a narrow, turbulent and particularly treacherous stretch of the river. Tides from the Long Island Sound, New York Harbor and the Harlem River meet there. There is a little bit of planning required, but a super fast and fun tour if timed correctly. I didn't mean to interrupt your guys' day out. Don't worry. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Well, that, is that the ferry you take to work every day? No, that's much bigger. <laughs> This was a very beautiful trip, we can highly recommend sailing through the East River to anybody. Just make sure you time it correctly. Please drop us a comment below or send us an email to info at growsailing.com should you be in the area. We gladly answer any questions you have. Also please include the recommendations you have for us. Maybe a secret anchorage close to Manhattan or other beautiful spots we have yet to explore. Please give us a thumbs up and join us next time as we are clothing the season, holding out Nomad, getting the boat ready for the winter and continue with some more serious improvements. A lot of work ahead of us. Thank you for watching Gross Sailing.